Hello everyone, it is Judy and you are welcome to Smart Watch Series. In today's video, I am going to be unboxing and setting up the MI Band 7 to work with my Android smartphone. The MI Band 7 so says the MI Band 6, okay? Unlike the Huawei Band 7, the MI Band 7 can now reply to messages with preset quick replies, okay? So guys, we're going to unbox this and set it up to work with my Android smartphone. And um, this is probably the charger. Okay, this is the charger of the MI Band 7. And this is our MI Band 7. Um, I think it looks adorable. To switch on the MI Band 7 is very easy. You simply connect the charger to the pin. You simply connect the charger to the pin at the bottom here. And then you can fix the USB end here to a USB source, okay? And you should see charging. On the screen here okay that's how you can actually turn on the mi band 7. so now guys we're going to set this up and from what i just noticed right here if you go to the my fit app here which was what i initially used to set up my mi band 6 right here for you to set the mi band 7 up you need a new app okay and to do that, you need to scan this QR code, okay? Scan it with a QR code scanner, all right? I have just um, scanned it. I have just scanned the, the QR code, okay? And this is the QR code, all right? This is the QR code. So just tap on open. This will take you to your phone browser. I will tap on open here. And I'll tap on Chrome. Okay, so this brings you to this particular page. So tap on download. So you can see here that this is a different app from the MyFit app that I initially had installed on my phone. The MyFit app is now called Zep Lite, something like that. Okay, so this is the app that you need MI Fitness. Tell me where to set up the MI Band 7. So I'm going to tap on install. To install this app and once it's finished installing we'll begin to set up the mi band 7. so guys the app i just finished installing i'm gonna tap on open to open the app and then i'll tap on start go through the terms and condition if you are okay with it tap on agree to proceed Choose your country. So guys, um, the app, this is what it looks like, okay? Um, what I'm gonna type on next is on devices. I'll type on devices. Tap on add. Okay, it says this feature requires um, signing in to the MyFit account. So I'm going to tap on sign in. I already have an account. So if you don't have an account, tap on create account. If you already have an account, tap on enter your email and then, of course, your password to sign in. Okay. So I've just signed in to my account, into my MI account. Okay. So tap on agree to grant permission. It says to be able to search for Bluetooth devices. Allow this app to assess locations. I'm going to tap on agree. And then it says allow my file to assess this device location. Tap on this. Okay, guys. The app has just found my MI Band 7. So I'm going to tap on this to pair the two. The app is attempting to connect to my MI Band 7. Alright guys, go ahead and tap on that check icon here to pair the MI Band 7 with your smartphone. 
So guys, this is what the MI Band 7 um, looks like, okay? And this is the menu option. You have the heart rate, PAI. Okay, there is now blood oxygen in the MI Band 7. You have the workout, and this is the workout history. And um, we have um, workout status. We have stress measurement, we have sleep tracking, weather, music uh, playback control. You have event alarm, service app, and you have even more. Okay, you have a torch light, which is also available in the MI, in the Y band 7. I'm gonna set in there. And you have the female health um, tracker. You have the breathing app, stopwatch, um, timer, find my phone, event reminder, and the remote camera control is also here. This is wonderful for a very cheap smart band. So guys, that is how you can set up the MI Band 7 to work with your compatible smartphone. In subsequent videos, we're gonna do a lot of guys as regards to the MI Band 7. So guys, stay tuned to that. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Please, if you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, click on the subscribe button. Until next time, goodbye.